Praise the Lord, God Almighty. You guys, hey, listen, you've been hanging tight. If you're getting baptized in the Holy Spirit this week, and I pray that you're yielding yourself to and understanding that he's the greatest gift that, you know, God has given us, I mean, as believers, because he gave us Jesus as sinners. And if he gave us Jesus as a sinner, guess what? You know, giving us the Holy Spirit has provided you and I with great benefits to live this life in success. Amen. Now, when it comes down to uh, after receiving the Holy Spirit and understanding how he operates and what he's doing in your life and some of the things he's changing and revealing to you and showing you different things, your life can get very exciting. Okay. You can get very exciting, you know, and on the other side of that, you have to understand that there are going to be people that are going to come into your life. The naysayers, the ones who are going to say, well, that ain't happening today because that passed away with the apostles. Well, really you have to understand the gifts don't belong to the apostles. They belong to Jesus, and Jesus ain't passed away, okay? And so as we get into the knowledge of God and be able to confront and challenge things that have been accepted, okay, over time and, you know, through ignorance, and some people, it's not a direct ignorance. Some people, it is a pretended ignorance. They pretend that God doesn't exist, and even though they know that he does, okay? But you and I, who are believers, Okay, now we know that God has placed his power within us. Now we know that the Holy Spirit is God's great and perfect gift to us as believers. Now that we know that, guess what? He's come to bring us, you know, daily benefits. He's come to uh, reveal things to us and to show us, you know, uh, hey, that there's no good that he'll withhold from us. Okay, then we have to understand now. We have to decide, okay, learn, understand, gravitate to what are the things that we need in life for our life. Okay, because you may not need the same things I need in life, okay? But he is everything to everything, everything for everything, okay? That's a revelation for some of you guys out there that you get, okay? He's our, the richness of heaven to us. I will never leave you nor forsake you, okay? That simply means that you're the richest person in your family or wherever you are. Because if the Lord's with you, you have all the riches of the universe available to you. The, the, every every blessing of heaven, okay, every blessing of the earth. If, if there's something over there 10 million miles away and God wants to bring it to you, then guess what? It, it belongs to you because he's the Lord of all. He owns everything, okay? And when I say universe, I'm not talking about some science stuff and I'm not talking about some other crazy stuff that people try to say that your answers are in the universe. They come to you because you live from the inside. No, we know we live from the inside because the greater one is on the inside of us. But our resources come from the Lord God, whom we respect, okay? We're not our own gods, and we don't say that we're our own gods, okay, at any time. We trust him and we believe in him wholeheartedly. Now, for every strategy that you may need, for every concept of whatever you might need, for every idea that you might need to blossom into a business, to become a success and whatever, for everything that you and I need, it's listed in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Okay, please come with me to Deuteronomy chapter 8, all right? See, this is our guarantee, okay? And nothing else except a guarantee, okay? Uh, begin, uh, because again, you have to trust him with giving you these ideas. You have to trust him with giving you strategies. You have to trust him. When he says certain things, you have to trust him, okay, with what he's speaking to you. You might not understand it in the first hearing of it, but guess what? If you constantly ask him, he will show you, all right? And he'll break it down to you so that you can take that thing and use that thing in your life, all right? But thou shalt, verse 18, all right? Deuteronomy chapter 8, okay? Now, some people say, well, that's the Old Testament. Listen, listen, listen. Wait a minute. You have to understand God's the Word, okay? The Word of God maybe was written before his appearance, Manifest the manifestation of his appearance, call him Emmanuel, God with us. Before that happened, they had to write the word down and they had different, uh, you know, uh, 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 times when the Lord showed up in different ways. But the Lord is still the Lord. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He ain't changing because he, he gave a word 2,000 years ago and he's given one now. Because you have to understand a thousand years with the Lord is as a day. In other words, there's no time. Okay, that's what that simply means. There's no time in the spirit realm. So when God reveals something that comes out of the spirit realm, there's no time on it, okay? So there's no limitation on it the way you and I, our words are, okay? He says in verse 18, 
but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, okay? As we said in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 1, all right? For it is he that giveth thee power, okay? What did Jesus tell us to wait to receive? A Holy Spirit, power from on high, okay? It is he that giveth us power, giveth thee power to do what? To get wealth, okay? That you may establish his covenant, which he swear unto his fathers as it is this day. So giving us power to get wealth means that he has to give us strategies, okay? He has to give us ideas. He has to show us where there are certain treasures that are buried that men don't even know they're there. He has to show us things, reveal things to us. As it says in Deuteronomy 29, the secret things belong unto God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and to our children, that we may do the law of God, that we may carry out his covenant. That's what it's really saying, okay? So he's saying that he gives us as we remember him, all right? As we recognize him. That's what I like to use when that word remember. As we recognize the Lord for who he is, he gives us power, okay? The ability to to take chaos and turn it into something beautiful. The ability to recreate something, okay? Uh, the idea comes from uh, something that you see that you use every day and then God gives you another idea. You add that idea to something that's already created. You recreate that thing, okay? Then that thing becomes something golden in your life, okay? This is why I use the analogy of the magnet because the magnet will always bring you the golden things that you need in life, all right? It will always bring you the things that have the ability to hook. See this? It will always bring you the things that have the ability to put a hook in the things and draw those things out. You know, the hidden treasures, as Isaiah saw. Draw those hidden treasures out that men don't see, that men pass by. They, they don't know these things have been hid by God. The revelations that you and I see, the Holy Spirit is, a, is the power of God that's constantly teaching you and I something that can be done to add to something to make it better than it is so that it can also continually bless man through the revelation and the power of Almighty God. And so in this scripture here, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, all right? That means you recognize him and you make him known, all right? For it is he that giveth thee power. So I have to recognize also that my benefits are going to come from the Lord that my resources are going to come from the Lord. The things that I'm going to build, the finances are going to come from the Lord. He's going to make those things come through hooking into treasures from men and women, even the, even the wealth of the sinner that's been laid up for the just. God will reveal it to you and bring it to you so that you might use those things because he watches over his word to perform it. And as he watches over his word to perform it, guess what? You and I, we are so blessed from his involvement in our life every day through the Holy Spirit. And so I ask you in closing today, take the time to learn more about him. Don't listen to what you hear people say, you know, he's just a sinner. No, 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 no. That's like they said the same thing about you before you got born again. It's the same old stuff, the same old story, the same old sad news, all right? But you are not created now in the image and the likeness of Almighty God too to listen to sad news and to walk around disappointed. Get yourself, you know, again, you know, I'm not trying to promote a book to you, but I know this will help you to understand the Holy Spirit in a lot of ways that you don't now. If you'll read this and ask him to give you understanding so that you might have your own adventures in the Holy Spirit as everyone does in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for your time this week. Uh, this is a very close subject of mine to my heart because this is what changed my life tremendously. And I know that he will continually change the lives of men and women that submit and recognize him as God's great gift to us that we might have all the other gifts in life that we need. God bless you. Thank you for viewing, watching, uh, being a part of us, sharing it with other people. And get yourself in the church this week that teach the word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you next week. In Jesus' name, amen.